All right. Freedom 2023 tour continues after a nice weekend off playing a ton of Starfield. Thank you, those of you who have shown up to my stream in Starfield. I appreciate the support. Uh, just having fun. If you happen to be there, awesome. If not, do not worry. Uh, but I'll leave a link in the description down below. If I don't have one, I'll try to pin a comment or something. But uh, it was a good, yeah, it was, it was a good weekend. I was going to put out something one of the two days, but I just, you know what? Time got away from me. <laughs> I apologize. But uh, we're back. It's Monday. We're standing up. We're having a good time. But I have major explanations because I have an apology. I went and sp spent 38000 I'm just kidding. I didn't spend any money. But I did do some things that I didn't mean to do. And I did some things that I meant to do but wasn't paying attention. First thing I did is RSL helper was updated. So I used the RSL helper. I was like, yeah, let me make some, let me make some, uh, some champions. Let me make some food. So I set her up and I set her up in the, uh, in this, in the drag, in the deadlands so that I could also get war maiden. I didn't need war maiden, but I thought, you know what? Be good to have her for barbarians. I'm going to need her eventually. She is a fusion champion for, I think either relic keeper or, uh, or rosin so i thought yeah no that makes perfect sense I'll, I'll 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 farm for her by the way did not get her did not get her but oh hey oh hey, we got a sharp so fine didn't get her not happy uh with that because i uh so what happened was when i set up rsl helper i set it up with food and i just wanted to burn off my energy because i had i had you know if you get the beginning you have a ton of energy i had done some challenges and stuff over the weekend pushed the account forward and uh, I accidentally uh, did auto refill. So I spent all my gems. So you can see the zero, which isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not like mission uh, critical. I did also buy, uh, buy the uh, masteries for kale, but here's where it went off the rails. First off, uh, when going through the tavern, I was just on autopilot leveling up food leveling up champions you know doing the whole two star to three star one star to two star the whole nine yards and i accidentally uh upped shield guard now the good news is i got a bunch of actual shield guards during that farming even though i didn't get any war maidens i did actually get one of the other blue is it ox no ox is the void you know the one though the one other rare you get but i didn't get any war maidens i did get a bunch of shield guards so he's nearly done and then i thought well i've already put him to five stars i might as well see where he's at compared to kale in farming because if i can use him he's defense based so in my mind i thought you know he's probably more survivable i still have to tink tinker with his gear he's not quite surviving on 12 3 neither is kale Neither is Wukong, which is fine. I can pull back uh, and, and farm one of the lower stages until that happens or go to 12-3 hard until I get that, that push. I do want to still do Deadlands to get a, at least a War Maiden, even if I don't get caught multiple copies right away. Uh, so, I mean, that's all fine. So, we have a Shield Guard, shield guard at 5-star. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself because I wanted to get a 6-star first. I might, just based on how good Shield Guard is doing, even with his weak gear... I still might go, I might pivot and I might make him my first six star. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what this is. This is fun doing stuff. And Odwin said that's what he did in his free to play series uh, when they did the big challenge. And I'm okay, I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. I'm okay with that. I am okay with giving that a go. I think it would be a fun little different, something different, something unique. Uh, definitely I was going with Kale just because Kale's fully booked. It made sense to help me, especially with Dragon. Uh, whereas Wukong doesn't really help with Dragon. He does, of course, help with Waves, but in the Dragon himself is where ultimately we f we fail with this team, this account so far. So it made sense for Kale, but I like the Shield Guard because then I can get him to 12-3 and I can just start churning every piece of energy into making food until I have enough for 5-6 star. You know, like just keep doing it every day. Spend all my energy. Don't mess around with anything else. Once I can get him to 12-3, then, then uh, I think everything moves forward. And I think... Uh, Shield, Gore, Shield Guard is more forgivable than Kale and Wukong in that he is defense based. So once you get him to six star and you get some good defense on him, uh, and that two turn cooldown on that bonus, then he gets the extra turn. I I really like I really like what I see from Shield Guard. Believe it or not, over Kale and Wukong uh, now at fifty anyway at six star, 
obviously Wukong's going to start shining once he gets books in him. That's going to be, a, and once I get good gear, I think obviously the ceiling of Wukong is way higher. The ceiling of Kale is considerably higher. This isn't about making the best choice. This is about making a different choice. I've maxed a Kale on account. I've maxed Wukong on my main. I've done all these different versions. I've never done a shield guard. We're going to do it. Whatever. Who cares? This is supposed to be for fun. This isn't This isn't some challenge. This is fun. So we're going to do that. However, in order to make myself feel better for my mistake at burning about 300 gems, uh, I decided I had one sacred shard from finishing hard. I, I three-starred all the way through that. And I thought, I'm going to open it. Screw it. It's a two-time sacred. Who cares if I open it today or six weeks from now? I'm still going to have the same two-chance opportunity. If you open 20 sacreds, each individual sacred has the same chance. So I opened it. I didn't get a sacred, but I did. I did give myself way more choices than I thought I would want. Uh, we pulled the best epic for a new account, arguably, arguably best epic for a new account in the game. Now I already have Deacon, but Deacon doesn't have the decreased attack. So this is a much different thing. Stagnite has a kit that is specifically progression bound that also can be end game we'll be using him in fire knight we'll be using him in waves the question is after i get shield guard kale wukon i think we do this and but I, I would like your opinion in the comments down below deacon i think i, I go stagnite deacon and the reason why is deacon's going to be pigeonholed eventually and variably into my clan boss. I can't see a scenario where I'm not using Deacon. Unless I pick, pull like a Draco uh, and get a Draco from a Sacred or something like that. I feel like any other scenario, Deacon's the best because he's got the turn meter boost, the aura, so that if eventually I get a Demetha, there's a ton of Demetha Deacon comps out there that just make so much sense. So why would I, why wouldn't I? And his speeds are going to be very specific then. He's going to have a very specific uh, uh, slot in. Not to say he won't be usable elsewhere. But Stagnite doesn't. Stagnite, I can do anything with. I, you can build him for survivability. And then slowly convert that to damage. Because his, mul his multipliers are insane. It's his low attack that stops him from being an absolute monster. But he is already, in my opinion, the best epic in the game for progression. He's a top 5 epic in the game, period. Uh, I think like even when you you know people are gonna argue Geo, well yeah Ugo yeah fine, but neither of those have a decreased attack, which is so important in the early game because I have to I can I don't one shot waves, so I need to be able to survive waves, and that's where Stagnite absolutely shines. Now the bad news of this is we now have one two three four five six spirit champions that we want to build six we have of course shield guard we just talked about that i also have sun wukong obvious right we have spirit host who i want to i want to try to get in the mix because i think it's really important for new players to, to to see that there's options out there you don't just have to wait for other things now unfortunately i only got two books on her i was really hoping to get more uh copies of her i was farming uh, stage four for a little while trying to get some probably five or six hundred energy worth very very unfortunate there but we'll take it right we have deacon gonna build him now we have stagnant and of course also arminger i've started i've, I've pigeonholed him in made sure we've locked him out and we put a one star to remind me to keep him because he's going to be an absolute uh monster for any free to play account uh in just about any turn meter manipulation thing i actually had a really nice arminger 25 uh, dragon i really loved unfortunately well or fortunately hard level dungeons came out it doesn't work the same and it was based on him doing reflex and concentrating his a2 sure he won't get the a1 turn meter reduction but he was getting the enemy max hp he's one of the lowest enemy if not the lowest enemy max hp for damage but because it's on a two turn cooldown and you could literally reflex that gear to be a one turn cooldown he was hitting you know three out of four times or, or four three out of five times he was hitting his a2 for that enemy max hp it was a great little comp it was like a minute uh it was really fun and and i would say arguably pretty free to play so uh so we have a lot of spirit champions because of that i think it's quite obvious to say uh we're gonna go be we're gonna be concentrating on spirit 
We do need this for just about everyone. Wukong needs this. Deacon needs this. Stagnite needs this. Armager needs this. Uh, Spirit Host is the only one that doesn't. So uh, we're going to be moving. This is going to be our 10. So when you when we talk about this, it's uh, there's a there's a mission that requires you eventually to get level 10 in the Great Hall. So this is where we're, we're going to concentrate on our accuracy here. Um, I've I've in the past argued that crit damage might be the better way to take to 10 first. Uh, because there's a point where I got to have three of them at five for either a challenge or a mission. So I'm going to go crit damage. Uh, I'm going to go accuracy here and probably accuracy here. Or maybe, yeah, probably, I'll probably go accuracy magic, accuracy spirit, crit damage spirit. Though you could talk me into defense, HP, or attack. This was for a, a challenge, so don't, so just ignore that. But I, I, I can see the benefit of both. So maybe let me know in the comments down below. Obviously, spirit, crit damage, and accuracy makes perfect sense for me. Uh, do you think, A, should I take crit damage to 10 after getting both to 5, or should I take accuracy to 10? Uh, let me know. I, I think that if I can get perception gear, then it makes more sense for crit damage. But right now, it's hard to kind of do enough faction wars to get 5-star perception gear, which is really what you want. So... A lot of thought there and then what's the third one should i go with accuracy magic or crit damage magic i think accuracy magic helps obviously kale who i'm gonna have on my account but when you look at the account uh uh no actually that's it's not an awful deal but um we don't spend so it, every deal is awful so when we look at this account we look what we have keep in mind that this is food He's a placeholder right now. I'm just using him with some cheap gear to get a few extra poisons on the clan boss. When it comes time to, for my first six star, he is absolute food. Uh, I was supposed to have a second one, but I, I meant to actually do War Priest because I was going to let her go. But I accidentally, I wasn't paying attention. I just saw, oh yeah, so he didn't have full ascensions. He had, I think, three. So I just pushed, pulled him, up, upgraded them, and oh, damn it. So that's my stupid... Um, this is gonna. This is a placeholder for food. It's nice that I can use him a little bit to get that, uh, to get this to play. But I'm not gonna put any books into him. Uh, we're not actually using him per se. But uh, until we can get that next level damage against the magic affinity boss, uh, we do. Or sorry, the spirit affinity boss. Uh, obviously, Deacon will help because he's gonna put a decreased attack in there uh, and extra damage. But and we've got a bunch of damage dealers now for spirit affinity. But, uh, and probably, uh, you know, Armager could probably fit that build too. So we've got a lot of options for sure. Oh, I got Masteries. Oh, I got Masteries. So one thing I did do, and um, I think I'm okay with it. Well, I, I did push some dungeons. Let's take a look at the dungeons here. Uh, this is not going to be, I don't have any energy and I have no gems. I have, so sorry if this is just going to be a talkie talkie. And it's going to be a shorter one, by the way. I forgot to do this. Cheers. Good morning. Well, it's actually lunch and learn for me. Mm. So, we did do some faction wars. We did. Um, oh, see, we got a rare book. Um, we did get some some Skinwalker. Obviously, we only had the one, so he was only one starring everything. I think he two starred the first one. Uh, we don't have any Knights Rev. We don't have any Demon Spawn to talk about, do we? No. Yeah. Okay. So we have Dark Elves. We have Barbarians. We have. Uh, oh, he's undead. We have Skinwalker. We have Dark Elf. So we have a couple Dark Elf. That'll do well for me. And we have Deacon and Stag for ba for Bannerlord. So we got to make sure not to miss those because those are just free resources. Gives us a chance to get something a little higher up. Uh, I haven't I haven't done anything with Deacon other than get him some levels. So he's not ready for anything. But at some point he'll, he'll fire away. Uh, obviously we used our one Sacred. We have 17 Ancients, 6 Voids, and those 2 Primal Shards we haven't touched yet. Don't plan to touch it until... Uh, until I'm ready, especially now that I did the the stag, like what a fortuitous event having stag night. I really want to focus on on building the t champions I have, so I get a chance and opportunity to use them. I found in my last free to play account, what I did was because I was pulling ancients as I got them, you know, I would get rares and epics that I needed, and so I'd pivot, and so I'd have a bunch of champions that I wanted to try out. But just didn't make sense. You know, when you pull a Geomancer, you have to put a pause on some niche champion that you wanted to try out. And I never really got back to them. I never really pushed Faction Wars. So I really want to give an opportunity to flesh out the account, which is why I'm not opening shards. Uh, I have champions. 
the only thing that would would that that might asterisk is if say there was a guaranteed epic event for like a Mordecai, an HP burn champion, really helped me in Spider, or you know, if, if there's I don't know why there would be, but some kind of Cold Heart event, just because Cold Heart would really help me with Spider, those sort of things there. But for the vast majority here, these are going to get me through everything but Spider. I think I can push I can push enough with these champions now that I want to get them all to six star. The ones that I want to, right? Which is Kale, Shield Guard, Wukong, uh, Spirit Host, Deacon, Stagnite. One, and I, and Armor Jar. Argue. So once I get those to where I want them, I mean, Armor Jar, I can probably stop at 50 before I start looking for it. Then we'll look at opening some shards. So just, I just kind of wanted to give you that kind of update. Now I did put some slightly better gear on my Shield Guard than these two, just for the purposes of seeing where I can get him to. Um, it's probably crazy and stupid of me, but I don't care. I, I'm having fun with a champion I, I've never used before, so I'm okay with this. Um, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay with giving him a run and seeing how he can do. Uh, he's almost there, and that's the crazy thing. Is like he's a he's an uncommon. Um, by the way, thank you again to Brick, Doctor uh, Matt, and Freedom Tour. Who is this? Is that CT Dub? I don't even. Who, no one ever told me who Freedom Tour was. Brick is Brick, Doctor Matt or or Doctor Who Gaming. If you if you've seen him around, but I don't remember who they said the Freedom Tour was. So let me know. Uh, we also have Progression Road. I've, I've obviously kept that, but we've gotten this. I really like to hit forty. We need some epic tomes, boys. Uh, as far as Clan Boss, where we're at, uh, we do a one. We can actually. It's really nice. We can actually quick battle easy. I'll get about 1.5. Oh, I should have changed in and put in Steg. Well, he doesn't have gear yet anyway. 1.3, that's still for one key. It was 1.6, but again, I stole some gear from these two. Uh, I swapped some gear for these two to make Shield Guard a little bit stronger. Just for giggles. And then uh, I, I typically have to three key this. Uh, we can let it go. We can talk while we're talking. Uh, I'm really... God, spam. They're getting my phone now. Um, by the way, Starfield, love it. Uh, anyone who doesn't like it, I fine. You're entitled to your opinion. As long as you're under the understanding that you're wrong. It's so good. It's so good a game. Yeah, there's flaws. There's a ton of flaws. There's some bugs. It's not as bad as the previous, I will say. Bethesda's got a, is infamous for bad release bugs. Hardly even there, but I have run across a few. Uh, there's one where it auto-saved where I, when I left the uh my ship to go onto the planet and even though i have a ship port at this at this place i kept falling down and dying and i couldn't do anything i was just falling i couldn't use my patch or anything so it would just it would then it would reload the autosave and keep doing it that was fun but overall i'm just loving the game i'm having a great time with it i'm okay with with my choices my life choices for it but uh yeah i'm, I'm pretty good I'm, I'm, pr I'm having a good time i'm, I'm gonna probably put out next weekend at least one of these um i know i'm going to be on the road next week so it'll be very scrub i will make one of these i will make it on my phone or on my my laptop so just have have lowered expectations for those ones i also currently um record these in 2k it's more it's less about this and more about my future possible travel blog um, actually, we're getting this about the same damage as I did before. Yeah, we're getting the same damage. So, interesting. Interesting that I stole gear from these two, and yet, within the confines of RNG, they're about the same. So, anyway, I'll three-key this for Max Chest. I haven't really pushed any further on this because of making food. Um, but, yeah, overall... I think I'm feeling good with this progression. Made some, you know, arguably made some bad choices there. We do have advanced quests now, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I don't think we... I think the only difference is maybe we put in... No, we don't. We still don't put in Shield Guard. This is still a better team. So, anyway, that's all I have for you today. It's going to be a shorter video. I apologize. I don't have a little bit more to do. Um, actually, before I do that... We already knocked down to bronze, hey? Uh, before I do that, I will show you where we are in dungeons. 
Spirit Keep or Stage 11. I think I can do Stage 12, but I didn't bother pushing it. Arcane, uh, Stage 8. I think I can do better there. It's been a while. I did push to 11 here, but that's as far as I can go. So I don't... If I can get to 14, I might consider just running these. It might be a, a, a bit expensive, but at least I'm getting the silver and the, uh, and the experience along with the scrolls. So we can maybe level up a champion that we're doing with, like, like a Stagmanite. Uh, Spider's Den, I would really love to say I got further. I did get to the point where I can get uh, banners, so that's nice. But uh, this is, uh, it's, 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 it's slow going. It's a lot of bad. But it does give us some silver, so it doesn't hurt to put a little effort into there. I didn't really do anything. Ice Golem, I'm just progressing so far as it tells me in the challenges. Dragon's Lair, I haven't pushed past 11 yet. Uh, I don't see the point of going to 12 because it's extra energy uh, until I think I can get to 16 where we get that chance, or 13, sorry, so we get the chance. So 11 is, in my opinion, better than 12, and I don't think I can get to 13 yet. Keep in mind, 13 is going to be ridiculously hard for me given that I have all spirit champions. So I might have to farm stage 14 if I can just kind of manual my way through 13 because, again, all my best champions are spirit. So uh, just is what it is. I haven't even touched Fire Knight, don't plan to. So that's where we are with the account. Uh, I'll leave you at that. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to tomorrow. I'm not touching any anything of the, the prism shards. I'm not talking. I don't want to talk about it. I want to have fun and I want to enjoy this brand new account. So uh, why don't we leave it at that? Let me know. I did give you some, some suggestions for comments, some help and assistance, and I appreciate you. And as always, please be kind, be safe, and we'll see you in the next one.